If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To insert icons in Word, click the Icons button in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab of the ribbon to open the Insert Icons window. A scrollable list of icons appears in this window. To change which set of icons appear within the scrollable list in this window, click the name of an icon group at the top of the window. To select an icon to insert from the scrollable list of icons in this window, click it to select it. You can click to select multiple icons if desired. To deselect a selected icon if needed, click the selected icon again. After selecting the desired icon or icons, then click the Insert button in this window to insert them into the document. You can then select the inserted icon or icons to resize and format them as needed, just as you format other types of inserted pictures in Word. When you select an icon in Word, the Graphics Format Contextual tab then appears in the ribbon. You use the buttons within this Contextual tab the same way as you use their counterparts on the Picture Format Contextual tab in the ribbon that appears when a picture is selected. There are only a few differences between them. First, the Graphics Format Contextual tab doesn't have as many options for recoloring the icon. You can only change the icon itself, not its transparent background. This also means that common options, like Graphics Fill, change the color of the icon itself, not its background. Second, most of the buttons replace the name Picture with Graphic. So, for example, the Picture Effects button becomes the Graphic Effects button. Finally, the Convert to Shape button in the Change button group on the Graphics Format Contextual tab in the ribbon is a unique button. Clicking this button lets you change the selected icon into a shape. You can then format it as if it were a shape by using the Shape Format Contextual tab in the ribbon. We'll discuss using the Shape Format Contextual tab in the ribbon later within the lesson titled Formatting Shapes in the Drawing Objects chapter. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.